Hello, welcome to another tutorial video. Now I'll be looking at the poem Ahmed Wood. It's a really, really hard hitting poem, very powerful. Um, so we'll look through it with smile then. We've got the structure first and foremost, and the very first thing we notice is the dash right at the top here. And that's used to give us a pause to actually introduce us to what's being referred to. So we hear about the farmers that found them. We don't know who the them is, and we still don't know exactly who they are, but it tells us in um, very strong words that it was the wasted young and that builds us into what more we're going to find about them and we also find out that they weren't found because they were being searched for or you know in, in a kind of a respectful archaeological archaeological dig etc they just bits of them started coming up under the um the plow of the farmers as they were going on uh, as they're going on about their day sorry so it's, it's a really hard hitting introduction there we've got the three lines stanzas all the way through which shows that there's careful considered reflection um, um, obviously keeping them within the same kind of frame going all the way down and just again shows us that the respect the um, the writer actually wants us to bear in mind when he's, he's going through this in, in remembering them um, and the writer actually put that he waited a long time to write this poem after he'd seen this and it uh, he just waited for it to come to him and and that's really is is, is really telling and reflect tellingly sorry reflected in that because it's a very patient very well thought out poem uh, thirdly we've got the enjoyment happens or is used sorry a couple of times here so we've got it here and here all the way down actually it really really helps us to just pause and consider the last words so um especially down here was the the angle that that word I think is really striking because if you imagine just digging up a grave and then you find the the socketed head tilted back at an angle just kind of like looking up but looking away at the same time and I, I just think there's so many connotations that go with that like looking up watching your soul leave or looking up you know did the person who who put the the bodies there actually try and tilt them up so you know they, they were facing the sun or did they try and tilt them up in respect or you know or, or is it just because you know the skull as the rest of the bodies weathered away the skulls just drop back i just think there's so much to take from that so focusing on certain words through the enjoyment really really helps us and the angle there is uh, is one of those examples so we move on to meaning then obviously we've got the loss of life and that's told to us straight away in the wasted young and obviously the fact that they're youthful people who youthful soldiers sorry who uh, who were uh, um, killed in this way that makes it all the all the harsher uh, the consequences of war well, we know it's war because they're actually going f forward to the um, nesting machine guns um, and that they were told to um, walk across um, the wood uh, obviously they were following some kind of orders so we've got the consequences of commands and battles etc coming together We've also got this idea of lessons that we learn or is the earth reminding us of something because we have here now the earth stands as a sentinel uh, reaching back into itself for reminders so it's actually pulling something off a reminder of what happened trying to teach us because normally when we remind someone of something we don't just remind them of something for the sake of it normally there's a reason it's like oh look remember what happened last time don't do it again or hey remember when you did this then this time we'll do that so the the reminder there and obviously the sense uh, the sentinel there is also another word for guard so that stresses us to us again and um the earth reminding us is, it says here it's bringing out um work like working a foreign body to the surface of the skin so basically when you get uh, like a splinter eventually you know if you leave it it does kind of just slowly peel out as your body um you know wounds uh, sorry heal, heals itself from the wound and tries to actually bring it up and bring it out um and that's just perfectly represented that the earth's bringing this up now for us to to actually be to actually be reminded of the all of that the loss of life the consequence of war and all the actual pain and suffering that, that's caused by it and obviously inviting us to maybe stop doing it it's worth noting as well that some traditions and cultures actually say that the earth you know is hurt by our actions upon it and um, in that way although it's not directly being linked here it, it just the earth then as having a job to remind us to stop hurting it and stop hurting ourselves stop hurting it could be could be of some relevance but you can you can delve into that if you wish um next one then the kindness in the midst of cruelty so as you probably know that this was uh, a long grave that was found and there was uh, i think it was 18 or 20 soldiers who were linked uh, arm in arm someone had actually buried them in that way and uh it is just you know this this the strangest kind act you know just being put them all together so they can be close and unified you know they know that they died unified for something you know died together for something it's just it's an amazing piece of kindness within it and we think of what other kind of kindnesses that were available not available sorry that were that happened in war obviously the one that really springs to mind is 
um, during the trench warfare of World War One, when the, the the Germans and the Brits were actually fighting each other, and then on Christmas Day they they actually called a ceasefire and across the land where they were killing each other time and time again, they actually played a game of football, and uh, apparently you know they were they were shaking hands and hugging each other, and then they went back to blowing the hell out of each other the next day, and there's just these weird kind moments in in these horrific horrific situations, so it's worth worth considering uh, that this is an example of, of that. So what images do we have? We already have the angled skulls uh, which we have here I, I think it's amazingly amazingly powerful image think about it and hopefully you'll find the same thing we've got the image of the field um, and just this field because the reason I, we've got it now is even though it's not directly referenced to here we've got the field where obviously the farmers are just doing their work and we just remember it the field as well as where they were told to do all these kind of things so it, you know before being um, blown blown to bits so that's that's really really powerful especially when we think of the two images you know how they contrast you know what was going on a hundred years later um, from from when the this event here happened and then uh, you know this event here happened uh, the next thing I picked out is the nesting guns and I think that's a really really interesting image because it's it sound like the the I think it sums up the the futility of the whole battle etc even though this this battle in particular was won and they did actually take the forest I think it's important because the nesting machine guns just shows that they were at home there the guns were actually at home and they were just waiting you know they knew it was coming this was their turf their area so it just makes the attack all the more um, I can't say futile because obviously it was successful but it just makes it all the more um, ill thought out or unwise is the loss of you know thousands and thousands of men in, in, in going into this battle but um, the image there of the nesting gun just white lying in wait for them in it on its own turf is, is quite quite powerful and the image of the long grave the long grave um, there's actually I mean this poem it's full of imagery you could take up 20 points for imagery here but I'm just picking out another one the long grave just the idea normally we don't think of graves or I don't think of graves should I, should I say with um, with just you know 20 people in them obviously apart from mass graves but this one was one carefully dug you know not just to just ditch as many people in as possible but to lay them out respectfully and the word long there just seems to carry that respect in it rather than the way that we'd like you know a, a, a deep grave or a shallow grave maybe just cramming as many people in or a mass grave etc one long grave it just just gives it a little bit more um of a more together image etc but then there's so much more and together obviously by that i mean the, the bodies etc but there's so much so much imagery to be picked out of there and uh, you can have a field day that's just a couple to get you started so what language is used to actually um te or techniques or words are actually used to add to the ideas and the themes well we've got the repetition of the word now um it's just kind of bringing home the idea of this lesson you know what we've learned you know what's happening to us now how are things actually being brought up now how do we actually remember the dead now what are the consequences of war now etc 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 and i just think it just even though it's still mentioning this story obviously sorry this uh, this moment throughout it really brings it home to us again and again and again by the repetition of the word now we've also got the simile um, we've got the simile here like a wound working a foreign body to the surface of the skin and that again it kind of ties in with the meaning that we're talking about about the earth reminding us and also it brings up the idea of the uh, the consequences of when a people do something you know, it's going to affect later generations not just in terms of wars directly but even in terms of what previous generations have done like if you speak to um, if you speak to certain races who who's the generations before them were actually involved in wars then they they actually still kind of carry some guilt of, of some kind some cultures um germany is actually a really interesting example of it it's uh, it's it's well 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 embedded within the nation's psyche you know the events of world war one world war two in particular um so again it, it's something that they're always reminded of in in and of themselves but that's just another example and uh sorry that, that of, of of reminders that that's actually being brought up uh we've also got the broken mosaic metaphor which is beautiful beautiful because obviously the mosaic is made up of lots of little intricate inter really beautiful bits and then here to look at it it should look you know there is an element of beauty in, in it because of the reason why which it was done you know this should like this beautiful um you know not beautiful but this really respectful uh, memory of a collection of the dead who died for a good cause <coughs> excuse me sorry guys 
but here we have it broken not only broken just because of the uh, the way that the bones probably won't be fully uh, fully aligned as they were you know just in, in terms to do with subsidence in the um, subsidence in the in the ground etc but also the way that uh, they've been hacked up as the farmers have actually been going about their you know normal business not knowing what was under there so there's bits of broken bone and fl flaking all around the place that's um, a really really interesting metaphor um, which really brings home the idea of the, um, the the situation that they were in when they were actually placed there so what does it make us think about then well I guess think about the sacrifice that people made all the thousand people that died throughout wars and you know what they what they why they did it as well as what they did um, and obviously some of the, just the, the the idea of trench warfare in itself just makes us think how futile and pointless that was and also makes us think about modern wars how modern wars fought you know how the dead respected then um, and how 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 they actually looked after and cared for um, um, so yeah, it's a very very powerful poem. It deserves deserves a lot of rereading actually to to get so much more out of it. You could you could do two three more complete sets of smile just based on this. It's, it really is excellent.